Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another Mailbag Monday for you. Hey guys, welcome back. Today I got a few things in the mail. Uh, some of them I think are for the Arduino High Altitude Balloon Project and some I think are for just Arduino Electronics. Let's take a look. Let's get started with this one. This is some samples uh, from IC Station that uh, they told me they'd send for me to give a try on the channel and do kind of like a review of sorts. The only thing that worried me is uh, they emailed me and said they shipped January 11th, but they didn't arrive until February 18th. That's um, kind of alarming. Uh, I'm not sure whether ordering from their website is any uh, any quicker or not, but uh, people who send me parts, uh, sorry, I'm going to tell the truth. These things took one heck of a long time to get here, so we'll give them a try. If anyone uh, buys from IC Station, please post down below and let me know. So what we've got, what they sent me was a light sensor and a temperature and humidity sensor. I think this is a DHT11, which is a pretty common sensor. So we should be able to get these up on the board and give them a try in a future video. But really nice, they sent jumpers with it. That's um, pretty rare when you get components. Pretty surprised about that. This other one does have headers, so <clears throat> that's also a bit of a surprise. But uh, yeah, we'll give them a try. Upcoming video, we'll do a little bit of a review of these. Next item, I think we'll open this. This one, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. This should be a very important piece of the high altitude balloon project. A box, or a little box inside. Yep. This is the spot trace. <laughs> they, they market it as a, a theft alert tracking device. This is what we're going to use for tracking of the high altitude balloon. This doesn't use the cellular network to report position. This reports directly to the satellites. So this should be a pretty handy little item. Get into this. The size of this thing just amazes me. So the pictures of this. It's pretty new out, so there's not much for reviews or function on it yet. Look at the size of that. It's just tiny. For a unit that communicates back to the satellites, uh, it's pretty impressive. It's got all kinds of motion sensing and good stuff too. So uh, we're going to do a full video covering the high altitude balloon tracking, and this will be part of it. And we'll give it a test and see how it works. At, uh, maybe next week, hopefully. This one, I'm pretty sure I know what's in it too, so maybe not use the razor blade on it. This came out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. Ordered it from eBay. And it's, uh, I ordered three of them, but I only got one. Huh, interesting. Well, one's all we need. This is Molten Magic Hand Warmer. This will be part of our payload heating for the High Altitude Balloon Project. Uh, I forget the chemical makeup of the mixture in this. You can just Google them, reusable hand warmer. And uh, once you snap this disc inside there, it'll set off the exothermic reaction and uh, start giving off heat. And then you just boil them to, uh, to reactivate. This will work in space where there is no oxygen. and. Uh, I'm not really worried about generating more heat on the way up, as long as we have something with some thermal mass with some heat in it, we should be pretty good. And the trick is going to be not to overheat things. But this is a, it's not horribly heavy, I'm pretty impressed. And we'll do a separate video on that on the payload heating, because I'm also going to supplement this with the uh, normal style hand warmers you buy at the hardware store. I think they work with uh, an iron oxide type uh, uh, makeup inside, so we'll give this a try later. Anyway guys, that's the extent of the video today. Thanks for joining and uh, tune in in the future for uh, some of these projects being put to use. Thanks for watching.